Alright, we should be doing right now. Dying here. Oh, my God, I'm blind. What? <laughs> I'm blind, dude. Dude, I'm blind. Again. All right. Lime emerged. Take a look. Go. Need a book for first. Maybe there's a way to get on this island. No way past this thing. There we go. That makes you not able to get food there. Unless you talk to this guy. Find the variables. Oh no. Um. Uh, how do I find the variables? 
RPG Maker VX is variable variables guide. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I want to change the variables. How do I do that? I think it's, you can only do it from... Oh, I just shut it off. Oh my goodness. Um, shut it off. Alright, I think what we can do is... Edit events. And... Oh my goodness. It events has weapon. Can we set this to one automatically? Like, is there a way of like has weapon? Level? So when has weapon is one or above. Let's actually do something here. Insert. Conditional branch if variable is equal to one, zero I mean, if ha has weapon is equal to zero, then cut this and paste it in here. Perfect. Cut and so when we have a weapon, we when we don't have a weapon, we can do this else nothing. Perfect. Different person. Good. And then let's check back if we edit this guy's fence. When you talk to him in the correct way, it gives you the weapon, so it has weapons on. Alright, that should work. Copy. 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 Paste. Edit. And edit. Here. And then to the left. Good. That won't work. And that won't work. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, boy. And then. And then we'll not continue. Anyway. Alright. Let's get going. I think this sound is like very loud actually. A bit less now. Alright, so. If we go into the dungeon. Go down. It says you will need a weapon first. Maybe there's a bit of getting one on this island. And teleport you back out. Okay, good. Now, I go back to this guy. And talk to him. Get my weapons, equip them. Right, alright. Then go in here. Should be able to walk the way through. Yes, good. Now let's just walk up through. Awesome. So I'm basically just made it that you can only enter the dungeon if you have a weapon, since that's basically allowed. We've also done this on the outside, but I want people to actually like, go inside. Like, take a look, what is this stuff? And then, being able to see that it's not actually, like, possible for you to go in here? Good. That's actually really awesome. Alright, I feel like making something that basically sets your... Here. Yeah, I'm gonna make a character customization right now. Basically, you can choose of a man or a woman. Or a male or a female, I don't know what. Okay, charge so let's stop. Actually, make this like the 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 whatever map the map that it starts in starting positions. Okay, so I can put like a starting position here. Click, cut, then I click paste. And the starting position should be here. We in charge that. Beautiful. Alright, this is the starting position. I'm gonna set the transparency to on by default so we can have like this little screen here. 
as like the selection screen. Let's leave it black for a moment. And if we start up, <coughs> yes, please. If we start up, it will be black, basically. Yep, perfect. Now, make an event that auto ends, right? Auto end. Alright, show text. Nobody says this. Are you a boy or a girl? That, boom. And then insert a choices. Boy, girl. And allow from choosing. Alright, one boy. Then, um, party member. That's basically how it is now. Then, when actually choosing a girl, you remove Max, then add Natalie. I feel like making a new one because basically, we have Natalie, which is a, is a monk. I want to like make it. Add an eleventh person. Now, this is going to be max max, and basically it's the exact same as this one, but just has like go graphics. A nice one for a girl. Like, it needs to be, like, everybody should be able to play it. Let's see. Then, is this one? Yeah, okay, good. I think that should work. So now we basically have two maxes. Max. Make this like a pawn pawn pin. I just came up with that. Good. At the event. Hey there, Mr. Trival. Sorry for uh, if this is a bit late. And uh, thank you for coming to the to the, to the stream. I'm working. Uh, on my first actual game because I got RPG Maker yesterday. Since it was on Steam for sale, is it still? I think it might still be possible to get it, but not for long. So change party member. That's Pauline. I'm gonna add Pauline. So it's gonna remove the actual one and then put back Pauline. So we should have a go. I feel like making ourselves visible so we can see what happens basically. Let's see. Can we see our thing change? Yes! Okay, good. Okay. So obviously it shouldn't like going back. I'm working on um, well it's a little test thing basically. I'm gonna it's called test at the moment. It's a little thing it's my first game and I'm now working on like a character selection system I have had the demo version basically I've had that before and I've tested it around a bit and it was pretty fun so I thought I just then steam came and I was like oh oh my god this game is a sta sale oh sorry for my bad English I was like oh my god the game is on sale very cheap let's do this so I just bought it all right and I'm working on your character selection moment. Um, so when boy next, all right. So let's make a batch entry so we can. All right. What is your name? And add a. That again. A. Oh my goodness! It is a name ever name input proce processing. Let me make it like ten characters long. So input a pretty nice name. 